The version of accused number two in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial, Bonghan Indanzi, is consistent with some aspects of what the state's current witness, Sergeant Busmuzi Mohane, told the Pretoria High Court happened around the time that Ndanzi says he was assaulted and tortured by police. This is one of the key concessions by Mohane, an officer who transported Ndanzi to different locations as the investigation into the Meiwa's murder in 2014 continued. Now, SABC News senior reporter Griselda Lewis has more and has been watching this. Criselda, it was quite interesting to see the different movements as, you know, they were being painted in court today. Absolutely, Bongiwe, and accused uh, number two, Bongani Ntanzi's version is that uh, on one of the occasions, uh, he was assaulted by police at a garage uh, where there was an open field, a concession coming from the current witness on the stand, Sergeant uh, Vusumuzi Mohane, that on the 18th of July 2020, now this was on the eve of Ntanzi's alleged first confession, they were at a petrol station, but he denies that any assault took place there. Let's take a listen. And what is further confirming the version of accused number two is that there was a garage, there was a, pet, a, 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 a petrol station or a filling station. That is consistent with the version of accused number two. Do you agree? That is correct. There is a engine garage where we were. From that time up to the time when I was about to take, take, take you on when you were leaving. But up to 0023, there's only thing that you are disputing is that accused number two was not assaulted by the police. That's the only thing that you can dispute now. Do, do you agree? Yeah, we better all night, I give you many I disagree that the accused was assaulted. Now, Sergeant uh, Mohane also told the court that uh, on their way from Carltonville, they went uh, to that garage or petrol station because they were experiencing car trouble. He says after they had called uh, Brigadier Bongani uh, Geninda, Geninda had instructed a uh, police officer and a previous witness, uh, Wendell Jonathan, and other officers to go to that garage and provide an escort. Let's take a listen to what his explanation was of why they were at that garage. When I alighted the vehicle and looked around the vehicle, there was some smoke that was coming from the front brakes. And on the dashboard, it reflected a oil light. And indeed, Jonathan and his crew arrived as we could not be at the garage on our own without any backup as we were in the company of an accused person. But advocate uh, Tulani Mgomezulu says uh, what uh, the uh, sergeant is basically telling the court in that he says is a basic fabrication of stories. Let's take a listen. I can tell you now we are making this story. Sir. Let me just put your vision, your testimony actually. Your testimony, <coughs> Hotel is this testimony, Jonathan testimony. All of you, you denied that you have ever been next to an engine garage. They all denied having escorted you from engine garage, but they only escorted you to Morocco police station. This but is just a total fabrication of what you say. They go for labels. If I remember very well. Lalu mpushi chicheka eri ya Morocco. Ni chachile lwa laga na lalu kona saka na nobele laga lona. You only asked me about when we were going to Moroka police station. This day that you are referring to, it is my first time that I am testifying on today. Right, and then uh, the current witness on the stand you heard there, Sergeant Vusimuzi Mohane, also accusing the defense uh, towards the end of proceedings today of changing its version. Let's take a listen. 
sufficient at the moment. So, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Nabeo feita ali relevele fro, o papai nele tenha rapa aju barra um sair de aí ele que vale, cama em chuva agora o vaga pelo saco papai nele tenha rapa aju, que a que a buchi, que a buchi. Mister Gomes, olha, I do not understand now. Yes, yes. You are now confusing me. Yes, in the morning you had said we have met Colonel Rapadu and his wife took the keys, and now you are referring to us meeting Colonel Rapadu in the afternoon. Is it changing now? Well, Bongi, where uh, cross-examination continues and we're continuing to expect uh, a sharp focus on the Sergeant Vusumuzi Mukhani's car movements. And it's going to be interesting to see then what gets said about some of the critical moments that have been, you know, mentioned throughout uh, the course of the day on his movements. But Chris Alda, always a pleasure uh, to have you as you wrap the day's stories for us that have come out from uh, that particular trial. Because I tell you, every day it's twists, it's turns, and uh, we are seeing new evidence emerging. Chris Alda will be back um, with the very latest from that trial within a trial tomorrow.